here we go. The first time D2R experience. Good day. All right, keybinds. Let's see what I need and go from there. So normal attack and fire bolt. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. Hey, welcome. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that. But a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. It was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. I'm guessing that's where we're going. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. AKA Until it's Luke safer cares. outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive, then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. New goal? Stay alive. Yeah, one thing to remember about D2R is... It's older than some of the people who watch my videos. Well, Diablo 2 is. And yes, D2R did mean modernization, but not in the sense of completely redoing the core game. So there's definitely going to be things that are very different. Welcome, Outlander, and to computers our 20 years ago absolutely couldn't handle the amount of clear speed modern ARPGs bring. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few <laughs> beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. Yeah. That said, it is a truly legendary game. And so, does it hold up Hello. today? Greetings, young sorceress. It is good to see more of your kind at work in the world these dark days. In my opinion, the world needs more women to fight against the Great Shadow. But I am forgetting my manners. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp. But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient Sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty Citadel from which we have guarded the gates to the east yeah, quality of life always an interesting corrupted by the evil demons and Dariel. I still can't believe it. She turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Because adding quality of life where you can is always good. Dead, but for games to remain wings. interesting and engaging, they do have to have certain friction points. And developers Find need to be careful to, to balance the friction curse, points that need to remain with the things that should have been added quality time. of life-wise from the beginning. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me to go to the place of great evil. is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye watch over you. All right. So let's go find the spooky cave full of baddies and uh, murder everything in it. Evil beware. 
I should probably change the keybinds for those potions. Because I'm not going to be able to hit those, but... Oh. Uh, I guess let's just do what I use for Path of Exile. Doesn't sound particularly pleasant. Question is, am I going to remember any of my Diablo 2 gameplay from before? And the answer is probably no, because it's been way too long. Okay, that's one thing I was curious about in terms of D2R. Uh, basically, would it allow me to attack things towards the edge of my screen at 1440p? And the answer is yes. Well, that's why you have me, Castle of Meat, because I don't really have any nostalgia for Diablo 2. Staff, throwing knives, don't really need any of these things. The ring, though, I probably want. So, let's ID it. Poison res, there we go. Okay, so there's just that. Skill shrine. I feel more skillful now. Is this the spooky cave? This is the spooky cave. This place is trouble. Oh no, what's that gonna be? Oh, that was not it. Uh. Huh. Oh, there we go. I remember when almost every game had an energy system for running. No longer fear fire. Well, given that I'm throwing it at my enemies, I don't think I feared fire to begin with. Oh, big guy. Does he like fire? No, he does not like fire. Big guy does not like fire. Okay. Here, have some more fire, buddy. Oh, zombie. Bonk. Bonk all the fall in here. I don't think they really dropped that much, but might as well. What build? Uh, I was advised to go Frozen Orb Sorceress. So I'm going to go Frozen Orb Sorceress. Because I trust the person who recommended that. Ooh. Okay, those zombies are tougher.
Yeah, those zombies are much tougher. I am overburdened. I think I can take another hit before I drink a potion. I am overburdened. Okay. I don't really need this stuff. This isn't going to be worth that much. It's all just trash. I should not collect floor trash. This is an ARPG. I wonder, though... Oh, that does not do what I thought it did. Um... Oh, show items is alt or mouse... Is that a toggle, though? Mm, does not appear to be. Oh, that's why there's more of those guys spotted. There's a necromancer over there. Get firebombed. There we go. Nope, I'm just gonna go for Frozen Orb. special zombie. These zombies are quite tough compared to the rest of the enemies around. It's okay, though. We'll get them down. Okay. Now for the big bad. I don't think it's going to one-shot me, but I'm going to heal up just in case. Dagger and hand axe. Don't think those are too useful. Uh, I was honestly just going to trust the guide, so whatever that says. Which is rare for me, but I figure I might as well do it. Even though usually I go in blind, the game's 20 years old. There's nothing new to be learned by going in blind. I will just make my time <laughs> less enjoyable. So, let's see. What does it say for... Sorceress Leveling Guide? Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing lightning at low levels. So, new skill, lightning spells, charged bolt. Up to level four. Oh, it's basically smart. Got it. Yeah, that'll work pretty well. But I do have to get used to the aiming of it. Yep, Charged Bolt until level 6, then Frost Nova and Static Field. And then Nova later. Hmm, went going the right way? I don't think so. That's okay, though. 
I'm gonna explore over here. I'm so used to bats being an enemy you attack in games, that as soon as I see those, I'm like, I should go fight them. And, uh... All into vitality up until level 10. Oh, I'm gonna pass on that. Toggling graphics and live streaming is a terrible idea. <laughs> That's a very good way to end up crashing the game or something very similar. I'm definitely not doing that. go. Hmm, fulminating potion. I bet that gives me electricity. Okay. Den of evil cleared. This cave has been purged of evil. Time to get out of here. Wait, I can do even better. Back to town we go. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith yeah. in humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. So I'm still level three. The so it advises that I get control left click. This I could potentially use later. That I don't need. Ooh. Unidentified jewel. That might be useful. Hmm. I'm not really going to use these for now, so I'm fine with selling them. Should get these at some point. But right now I don't have the gold to buy stuff. So, back to quest. That's a neat little animation. I remember when games did that a lot. They don't really do it anymore. Good evening. Good day to you, Pop. Anything useful here? Mm, not really. But also, I have no money. Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in. Oh, you can reset stats and skill points, so even if I make a mistake, it's fine. Cool. Uh, is S going to be skills? No, S. Uh, skill tree is T. Oh, that's weird. So. Den of Evil also goes into Charged Bolt. And when I level up again, it'll go into Charged Bolt. Let's uh, walk around a little bit. Free respect for difficulty makes it really easy to level as one thing and swap to another then. Not that I was really worried about that. Uh, 
YouTube kept eating your community post? I didn't know it ate community posts. Do you think it didn't like the bit.ly link or something? Maybe it didn't like the bit.ly link. So is it the music specifically or is it all in game sounds? Also, maybe one of these days someone can explain how audio works. Because right now, uh, it shouldn't be loud according to my display. And I have no idea what volume I need to set things to then. Because it should be 30 decibels lower than my voice right now. Which is, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's try this. And, uh, we'll see if that's better. I have no idea how audio stuff works. All I know is it's incredibly annoying when I don't change my settings and the sounds change almost every stream. Dread, how do I turn something down by 50%? I have no way to know what 50% is when it, I literally can't hear the difference on my end. <laughs> okay. So for reference, I turned it down by five decibels, whatever that means. I have no idea what that means. All I know is audio stuff sucks and I want a computer program to do it for me. Um, I'm pretty sure if I turned it down by 50%, it would be muted. It's already at, like, 30. It's already extremely low. It's just that all of the audio settings don't correlate between the game and what you guys hear on stream. Uh, yes, it's something that I don't understand and I'm perpetually annoyed by. Uh, how do you do that? Because I would very much love to turn item highlights on. <laughs> I don't know how to, though. Uh, is it in gameplay? I just, uh, HMR, the streamers who don't have audio issues are professional audio engineers. The real problem is, oh, thank you very much. Oh, perfect. All right, so it should be toggled on now. Cool. Yeah. I, I'm just so sick of audio issues because I don't know how to fix them. I, I legitimately do not know how to adjust volume when I adjust it and it, because I did it before stream and it sounded fine to me, but clearly the audio that you guys are hearing is significantly different from the audio that I heard on my test. Because I recorded the exact same audio with the exact same settings through OBS. And for me, the game sound was very quiet and my voice was very clear. And on stream, that's just not the case. I'm very, very frustrated with it, to be honest. Beware. Beyond lies mortal danger for the likes of you. Take care. The corrupted rogues in the wilderness ahead are okay. not Okay, well, I'm glad it sounds fine now. Huh. Mortal danger, you say. So here's the weird thing, Dread. The music is not very loud in my headphones. I mean, I can try, but I think I might as well just mute it at that point. It's so quiet. Like, 
I can't really hear the music anymore when I turn it here. It is barely perceptible. I can hear it fine here. So I guess I might as well do this. That's what I mean by the sound you're hearing on stream is clearly not the sound that I'm hearing in game. And I don't know how to fix that. I wish I did. I wish I could just get audio settings to work so that what I heard and what stream heard was the same. Yeah. Because, as I said, if I turn it down much more, I can't hear it anymore. Ooh, a scepter. The game volume is down in OBS. That's the thing. The audio levels that I am hearing are different. The audio levels that I am hearing are different from what you are hearing. The settings that I control have different results for me than what you hear. If I turn it down in OBS, I can't hear the game audio at all. But apparently it's quite loud on stream. And I have no idea how to fix that. It is very frustrating. If someone is an audio engineer and actually understands this stuff and could help me, I would very much appreciate it. But if not, I'm just going to complain about it a lot. Because I have no idea how to fix it. Hmm. Maybe I don't need the scepter. Uh, honestly, sometimes I feel like I need that. <laughs> oh, health shrine. Oh, I'm glad it sounds fine. Hopefully it stays fine. Nope, I don't have any other program controlling my headphones because I don't know how to use any of that stuff. All I have are audio plugins for OBS that do EQ. But that shouldn't be affecting the game volume at all because that should only affect my microphone volume. Uh, when it comes to things like the highlights, absolutely yes. When it comes to anything gameplay related, the rule is no backseating. So like, if someone tells me, you know, do a certain build or equip a certain item, I'm 100% going to ignore that and do what I would have done anyway. If it comes to something like you can highlight items with this feature, absolutely let me know of that stuff. I, <laughs> I'm very glad I don't have to hold alt to highlight items anymore. Okay, that guy's running away. That's fine. I'll go bonk his friend. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be here, but that's fine. Bonking enemies is fun. And there's a road, so... Whatever I'm doing can't be that wrong if there's a road. Hmm. I should definitely raise my strength just enough to equip some of this armor which I will do soon. I am overburdened. Oh. Come here, you need to get bombed. That. Heal up a little bit. Probably didn't need to use a potion there, but that's fine. Potions seem relatively common. Hmm. Okay, here's a question. Is there a way for me to equip things so that my potions automatically re-equip when used? Hmm. 
nor is there no way to automatically re-equip potions. Ooh, a sash. I don't think I have a sash yet. Should probably equip that. Okay, so exactly like the belt I just got. Perfect. There we go. I am overburdened. Mm, time to play inventory Tetris. Javelin here. I need a key. Hmm. If only I had I need a key. magic to break that lock. Well, I found a dungeon. There may and may not be a dragon in it. Let's see if there's any dragons in the cave. Ruby, Stamina Potion. Okay, shift click, got it. There's a few too many enemies that I was tanking there. Uh. I have no idea if there are dragons in Diablo, but I'm guessing not. Uh, I was mostly making a joke about Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. Okay, I I'd really like these archers to leave me alone. No? Okay. Well, if you're not going to leave me alone, I'm going to bonk you till you're dead. Okay, there we go. Oh, someone else needs bonking? All right. Oh, that guy melted when I actually got all the spells on him. Rejuvenation potion. Anymore. I am overburdened. So that's life and mana. Culminating potion, which I don't really need. Minor healing, minor healing, minor mana. Uh, there's a stamina potion I picked up. I can see why they're one of the worst. Also, I leveled up. So new stats. This will let me equip this, which I think is worth. I just have to remember to put a little bit extra into vitality before doing what the guide says and going into strength. And I think for level five, I'm supposed to just hold on to this. Yeah, I'm supposed to hold on to this so that I can get Frost Nova and Static Field. Which, Frost Nova's, what, a cold spell? I'm gonna guess cold, yes. Ah, makes sense. I mean, it could have been a fire spell. You never know in games. They really do hurt quite a lot. Oh, that's why. 
That's a boss. Well, there you go, boss. Get zap. I need mana. I am overburdened. Hmm. Well, that's not very good anyway. And I'm chugging a lot of potions, so I should probably... Seems like it has innate shotgunning, which makes it really good when you're directly on top of an enemy. So that's the sort of thing that I don't want to know. I don't want to know how to fight enemies. Because if I make mistakes while fighting enemies, so be it. some stuff. Ooh. Oh, if that was not the key that I thought it was. Whoops. It would be really nice if it displayed my actual keybinds so I knew what to hit, but it's not doing that. So I keep hitting the wrong key. I can't carry anymore. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Whenever you're inexperienced with a game, you're going to be slow to play it. That is a perfectly normal thing. Yes, that setting doesn't work. That setting shows the default keybinds, not my actual keybinds. These are not Q, W, E, and R right now. You know, for my potions. These are not showing my actual keybinds. These are showing the game's default keybinds. I want to see the buttons I actually bound it to. got bonked. Oh, that's a, that's a bunch of enemies. Maybe I shouldn't be there quite yet. Let's take care of the Dark Ranger. And then come over here. Yeah, because I already have it showing keybinds. It just doesn't seem to like the ones I picked. This and this out for a second. 
play Tetris a little bit. Get a new high score. Pick up boots. No. They're the same. Never mind. Uh, crude sash. Is this better or worse? The same. Okay. So I'm going to guess that this... Okay, so that is that key. So then this? Okay. I'm starting to get it. No, I already did that. So I think I'm safe to show. So I have quick casts here and I have display active skill bindings. It's just that I'm not using the default key binds and the game doesn't seem to know that. And yes, I did read the trade post and I have some thoughts, but those thoughts are better suited for a video. my inventory board. Uh, they are mixed thoughts. Some positive, some negative. Oh, look at key. question that could be causing it let's let's find out uh, options controls okay so if I override this like this let's see whoops oh that does fix it okay there we go thank you now I can see my skills All right s isn't stats And now I want Frost Nova and Static Field. And in terms of Quick Cast, I'm going to have to figure out... Press 1 to 8. Okay, so we're going to go to Gameplay Controls. And for now... Oh, I guess these are all going to go away, but that's fine. They don't really care about those anyway. 1... Two, three, four, five, six. Apply. And so now, start by doing charged bolt, static field, frost. Okay, and now I swap to it and quick cast. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Of course, I don't have the mana to keep using all of those, but that's that's fine. Will the voice lines actually matter? Is that a thing I have to care about? Or is that just flavor? 
Wait, I'm punching stuff. Did I unequip my weapon by mistake? Oh, my weapon must have broken. That's something that must have happened while I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. I'll be fine. So I can just chill everything and then zap it. Okay. Yeah, it's totally fine then. If I'm playing with someone, I'm going to be in actual voice chat with them. Uh... Oh. Thank you. So in terms of stuff like using certain potions, that is not the sort of help that I want. All right, cave level two. Oh, before I do that. Town portal. Gonna go back and sell some stuff. Greetings. Right, time to sell a lot of the junk that I picked up. Is the eagle orb better? Hmm. I feel like one of these might be better, but no, I can't use either of them. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, so something like charged bolt would be better. So, control, left click to sell. Go through most of those. Gonna keep that. Gonna keep this for now. This costs 80, but how much do the weapons cost? Hmm. Better question. What weapon do I want? I don't think I need a wand. So, charged bolt, that's good. Charged bolt, warmth, I'm not using warmth. Charged bolt, frozen armor, frozen armor. Telekinesis. Telekinesis, frozen armor, warmth. Huh? This one seems very good, except for a fact that, oh, it's, Way out of my price range. Hmm. So it's better to ID stuff and spend the 80. All right. Good to know for next time. For now, I'm just going to buy a few identify scrolls. Actually, let's find out. So sell value is 32 to 109. Mm, that didn't actually increase the value by that much. I'm guessing it's more important for rare items. Oh, I see. They got identified. Interesting. So the ring, 900. Oh, this is going to be worth a lot more, I bet. Uh, 998. Hmm, still not that much. Interestingly enough, enough that it outweighs the cost in some cases, but not in all cases. I would guess this scales, though, where as I get better items, it will get significantly more efficient to identify them as opposed to selling unid. Gonna do a little bit of inventory management here. Yeah, no, I don't wanna know what things are worth it to ID or not. I will figure that out as I play. Because if I wanted to know that stuff, oh, whoops. Death has done nothing to weaken Blood Raven's combat skills. Alright. Yeah, if I wanted to know that stuff, I would just have looked it up before the stream.
the quest log. Burial grounds next to the cold plains. I don't know if this is the cave I'm in or not, but I'm going to keep exploring the cave because it's fun. Oh, scroll of identify. Nope. You get slowed, archers. Seems very efficient to slow the archers. And enemies in general. Who would have thought that enemies not moving much is advantageous? The entrance to cave level two, right here. Good question. Can you do a backflip? I have no idea. I have not tried. Don't take that one too seriously, Mark. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're just gonna get out of here. That was a little bit too spooky. Too many Dark Rangers. Way too many Dark Rangers. Let's uh, kite them back here. realize there's actual graphics for the arrows, but they are so small that I literally can't see them 90% of the time. Hmm, that's not particularly good. Oh. Okay, let's go over here. I suspect that very little of my gameplay is going to be dodging at this rate, and a lot of it is going to be just brute forcing with potions. And I need to fill out This is supposed to be that. See, the thing about rushing is, it's going to ruin someone's first experience with the game. Because if I wanted to be rushed through, I could absolutely ask someone to rush me through. That's not an issue. But I want to experience the game when I don't know what's going on. I guess maybe I'm cheating a little bit by using a build, but eh, I think that part's fine. It's not like I'm doing everything 100% correct. I'm just getting the broad strokes right. Hey, him I could dodge, but I'm still probably just gonna chug potions because chugging potions is working. And if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Oh, I don't have any gloves at all. So, there we go. Uh, my current belt does have the second row. Yep, 
Yep. It helps a lot with potion chugging. Oh, that's why there were so many of the little ones. How about, how about you just die? That makes my life easier. Because Fallen aren't that dangerous by themselves, but when there's a ton of them constantly getting resurrected in your face, that's when it's a problem. Also, oh, durability zero. <laughs> I guess I need to go pick up that other sash that was on the ground. Where was it again? Was it over here? No, it was not over here. Uh, was it up here? Uh, nope. Must have been down over here then. Because I saw a sash a minute ago. Yeah, I have no idea either. Ah, here is the sash. Okay, so I can put this on. Oh, it even has more defense. Perfect. Now, I'd assume over time I'll get even more stuff in that regard. Oh, I'm level six now. Wait, I knew that already. Never mind, that's not new. I figured because I talked to the blacksmith and she had a repair option earlier, but I also think if a moment it's better to just replace it than waste resources repairing it. I don't know, I could be wrong about that. Oh, last thing? I think that's the last thing in the cave. I certainly got a good bit of EXP and loot from this. Whether it was worth it or not, uh, I don't know. But it was fun. And what's the price of fun anyway? Yeah. Oh no, I'd call it a white item too, that's fine. I, I figure repairs are better saved slash focused on items that actually have stats that matter. Like, uh, do I have anything good enough? Oh, my rings don't have durability, so probably not yet. Maybe these gloves. Hmm, they require level three. I'm probably gonna replace those way before it matters. game like this, a lot of the fun is not knowing what I'm doing with a lot of stuff. If I know too much going in, it will stop feeling like an experience and start feeling like a video game. Don't get me wrong, as I play and as I master a game, I want to know more. I don't want to stay clueless forever. But going in for the first time, I do want to make mistakes. It's why for most games, I'll avoid guides on my first playthrough. But the thing with D2R is my understanding is it's basically balanced around guides existing because there's so much knowledge. And so it's kind of like an MMO, where if the MMO's new, by all means, go in without a guide. But if the MMO's been around for 20 years, uh, don't play without a guide. It's going to be a bad time. Because people have 20 years of experience that you need to catch up to. You know. Aiming helps, by the way. Um, smacking the air, not a very good way to kill your enemies. No. Oh. Oh, 
There we go. Uh, being slowed is very awkward. Note to self, avoid being slowed whenever possible. Oh, that's how you unlock a chest. Wait, why did I pick up the damaged sash? Cool. I should have healed up first. There we go. Nothing a little potion chugging can't fix. Uh, nope. That's definitely a later thing. For now, it's fine to just see them when I'm smacking the enemy. Right. I need to, uh, hit... Oh, no, I need to hit more than one thing. I'm so close to leveling up. There we go. Ooh, and I even got a scroll to go back. Yeah, I saw that option, but not too worried about it for now. But level 7 to 9, Static Field. Oh, I should probably be casting Static Field if I'm going to put points into it. Um, right, it's T. What does Static Field do? Creates an electrical field that reduces the life of all nearby enemies. Okay. Oh, and it increases the radius as you level it up. Got it, got it. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, so it's really good to use on high health enemies and really bad to use on low health enemies. Ooh, does that apply to bosses? Wait, can I just take out a huge chunk of a boss's health? Ooh, that's gonna be interesting if you can. I need to find a slightly scarier enemy to test this on. Because these guys, it is not really worth it. <laughs> I can see why the guide recommends it. Ooh, a minor healing potion, I'll take that. Uh, yes, in terms of does the skill that I have work on bosses, I was actually asked. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have just let all the things hit me. That was uh, maybe not the best move. Yeah, no, I appreciate the double checking. So uh, note to self, when you get a shiny thing and you want to bonk enemies, don't stand in the middle of all of the enemies to bonk a few of them. Not a good idea. Let's see. Ah, I lost money on that. Oh, and I lost all my gear. Oh, no, I have to go back for all my gear. Ah, uh, that was, uh, bad decisions. It's okay. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure nothing will go wrong on my journey back.
Wait, is there something? Nah, my potions are fine. Also, I'm a spellcaster, so at least there's that. That there. Oh, I should have... Did I not have that? Hmm. If I had that, I should have teleported. Oh, champion dark hunter. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, I don't know if I had the waypoint or not. <laughs> That's a good question. All right. Uh, what potion slots are right? It's hmm. So Tilda doesn't show the potion stuff. Oh, right. I don't have the slots because I lost my belt. Never mind. Don't mind me. And they're right around here. So, I think I have to keep redoing my belt because it didn't seem to be working when I was just adding them. Unless I was doing something wrong. You're not supposed to run away. I'm supposed to run away. It's supposed to be that enemies charge at me and I run away from them. They don't run away from me. It's too hard to punch things that are running away from you. Oh. Oh, I did not pick up the... We are not letting that hit me. No, we are running away and waiting for the enemies to spread out more. There we go. Perfect. Now. Yeah, because... Do this and the thing about redoing. All right, all right. Uh, shift. So it'll put it on the left slot if I do that, right? Yeah. There we go. That'll be fine for now. All right. I got my loot back. Now I have to go kill the thing that killed me. It was around here somewhere until I kited it. This time, it's personal. Ooh, okay, he hurts a lot. Get slowed. Oh, yeah, I have my belt back now. <laughs> he was certainly not super easy. That's for sure. I am but I won. At the end of the day, that's all that matters, right? I'm going to throw these out. There's no way they're worth anything.
These stones radiate powerful magic. We'll see what the boots are. <laughs> They're unidentified boots that may actually be worthless. Wait, do I? I wonder. Hmm. Zapping the stones does not seem to do anything. That is probably a problem for future me. Curtin is going to deal with the zombies here. And then after dealing with the zombies, I'm going to go back to town. Because I want to sell some stuff. And it seems like, generally, the amount of money that you get versus the amount that it costs to portal back is pretty decently generous. Right, so... Do I want... Oh, no. I want to use those. Oh, shift left click right. There we go. And it's a hundred for a town portal. Or I could sell them for 50. So based on my experience thus far, I don't want to identify this dagger necessarily because it's probably not going to add enough money. No, I lost money identifying that too. For science, we're going to try it. So 30 to 77. Yeah, I shouldn't have identified that. That makes sense. But I want to identify the boots. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's a significant increase. That's a very significant value add. Going up to 600. Oh, 2.3. Ah, I wonder. Can I afford a weapon now? Mm, uh, I'm sorry, 57,000. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be buying that anytime soon. Inferno, Ice Blast, Static Field, Mana Stolen. Poison damage. Back through the portal I go. Ooh, another key. Bonk. No? There we go. Bonking enemies is fun. Underground passage. So this is going to take me somewhere else. That thing didn't really attack me. That concerns me. That makes me think it hits very, very hard later. And that I have to be really careful about getting hit by it. A preserved head. Nice. Wait a minute. No, I should probably not stand quite there. Oh, I walked into that. of hitting them through the wall honestly not as effective as I hoped it would be especially in comparison to just walking up and hitting them wait am I desynced yes I was desynced 
I was like, why is there something shooting fireballs from nowhere? Come back here and get bonked like your friends. None of that. Okay, there's a blue enemy there. Blue enemies generally are more dangerous. Okay, she wasn't that bad. Probably because I chilled her. I'm starting to see how this build works. So, preserved head is a necromancer item. Got it. Uh, do that. Do that. I would like to be able to hit that thing. There we go. It certainly looks like a nice item. See, I'm not worried about whether or not it was in the original game. I'm worried about how cluttered it makes my screen. I generally do not like a ton of health bars on enemies. I can't carry anymore. Hmm. I should probably have emptied my inventory before coming here, but that's okay. If there's too much useful loot, I'll just go back and low quality hard leather armor. Well, if it's low quality, I don't know that I want it. Bonk, bonk. No, come back, get bonked. I'm probably going to repair this staff when I get back to town. Mostly I because I still anymore. need it. Oh, I didn't know I didn't fix my belt. Oh, that's that's not the sort of bat you find. Hope. Come from. I can't carry anymore. Yeah, I'm noticing that the Tetris early on is quite significant, though maybe that's partially my fault for picking up junk that I shouldn't. Ooh. Let's uh not stand quite in the middle of all those, just slightly off of the side. There we go. Like that. I do like how it's giving me enough mana potions, but I don't feel scared to use my spells. Which is definitely not helping with my Tetris problem. But still, it's pretty good. Hmm, this big area makes me think there's a boss in here. Rule of identify. I can't carry anymore. Oh, but I can't carry. Well, that's fine. I am overburdened. Shift. Put those on. Gonna go back to town here. Wait, no, I didn't want to do that. How's it going, Lodador? Uh, what does this say? I think I just keep going into static field, right? 
Yeah, seven to nine static field. I'm just gonna keep going with this. And also, vitality. Oh. Oh, you meant the health bar of what I was hitting up here. Oh, I thought you meant health bars floating over all the enemies' heads. Cell value, 260. Well, I, I guess it's, it's not quite. Oh, yeah, no. I just don't have them floating over enemy heads. 150 to 195, so I lost money on that. 240 to 957. I gained money there. But... I kind of want to use it. I think I'm just going to keep that. I also think this is the point where I... Mm, is this the point where I spend money on these? I kind of want to save up for a weapon. Charged bolt. Oh. Oh. Okay, yes, this is where I buy these. And sell value one. Well, I'm just gonna sell that now. Okay. And... This should save me quite a bit of inventory space. Quantity 5 of 20, quantity 7 of 20. Please go over here now. I need 15 strength, so I'm just going to put points into strength when I next level up. And in terms of my private stash, I'm just going to put that stuff there and keep all my potions. Do I keep my helmet on me? Yeah, I keep my helmet on me. about the low quality dagger I don't think stuff. Yeah, I'm starting to notice that, that blue weapons in particular are where most of my money's coming from. They also take up more space, though. Town portal. So, I'm liking it thus far. There's a lot to adjust to, because it's very different from the way modern games are made. But overall, the engine is holding up decently, I would say, though that could largely be due to the way D2R has, well, resurrected it. Um, beyond that, do I think Whirlwind will get a buff in Torchlight Infinite eventually? I don't know if it'll be for Season 3 or not. But I'm sure eventually, yes. Get zapped. Get bonked. The new staff was well worth the money spent on it. Even if I have to get a better one later. 
No! Stop running away! Maybe I'm just that scary. Hopefully you won't run away, chat. Hmm. Time to go down. Oh. And by down, I meant to a new area. Definitely meant that. 100% intentional. I don't like that symbol over my head. I'm glad you like that I'm branching out and trying more stuff, because I think the overall reception to that has been a little bit mixed. Some people seem to get very upset when you don't just play one game. Mostly the reception's been positive. There have just been a, a couple of really weird comments about how I should, uh, quote-unquote, be uh, staying in my lane, whatever that's supposed to mean. Uh, spoiler alert, in terms of just playing one game forever, not gonna happen. Not what I do. I think that thing died. Zap you. Stop you from resurrecting more of them. Okay, did I take out... Oop. Exactly. Even if I don't like a game. Unless it's just awful. It's only to my benefit to learn more about it and give it a chance. Obviously, if I don't like a game, I'm not going to play it that much. If I wasn't having fun, I'd probably be wrapping up the stream pretty quickly about now and uh, saying D2 isn't for me. But I am having fun. I'm bonking stuff, and it's working. Uh huh. Found you. Yeah, no more resurrecting stuff. Well, that looks like an important enemy. Champion Spike. So I should have used my thing that does percentile health damage there. I think all the fallen around here are that guy's fault. Ooh, an amulet. I don't have an amulet yet. Can I make inventory Tetris room here? Probably. So I can put this here. There we go. And right click to use. Hmm. I'd rather do it back in town so I can see item values change actually. Oh. 
There we go. Okay, well, he's gonna run away, so I guess he gets to live for a second. I'm assuming Nova does exactly what I think it does, and just deals a lot of damage around. But we'll see. Hmm. I missed quite a few times there. I'm sure the mana will be fine. Nothing can go wrong. Ooh, speaking of mana. Mana Recharge Shrine. All right, time to fight more stuff. Ooh. how you do it. I say while, well, you know, barely holding on to my life. Uh, that was maybe not quite how you do it, actually. But it's okay. Um, my inventory is quite full again. But I do want to keep all of his stuff, really. So I'm just going to portal back and come back to this. Yes. Okay, so cell value 150. Cell value 819. Okay. Making the big bucks now. Cell value 184 to 242. Didn't really make the big bucks. Gloves 40 to 104. Also didn't make the big bucks. So that's good to know. Oh, right. Amulet. 1,200. So this better go up by a lot. Okay. It did. Good investment. Cool. Now, over here. Bonk that stuff, grab the waypoint, and keep exploring. I do like how I don't really have to pay that much attention to quests. It's just like in POE, where I can kind of just do stuff and play. Wait, not S. Um, I keep hitting S for stats, and it's definitely not stats. So strength, 13, 14, 15. Okay, enough with the back seating. Those tips are exactly the sort of things that I do not want coming into this. Okay. Fix that, fix that, put those into vitality. Now let's open up the skill tree and level 10 for telekinesis. Nova requires 12. Telekinesis is which tree? Oh, right here. Oh, wait, no. This is still static field. Next level is telekinesis. I don't know enough about this to know if I should or should not be following everything in the guide. 
but that's it. I'm just going to assume that if nothing's going wrong, I'm fine, and if something goes wrong, I can use my free respec and change stuff. And nothing has been going wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Do I do anything with this? This ancient yes, tree I do. has an aura of magic about it. Okay. Cool. We got a spooky thing. Quest log. Oh, I think I did that. So I guess let's go turn things in. Oh, very good. I have translated the runes on this scroll. You must find the cairn stones and touch them in the order that I have written. Ooh, that'll be a fun thing. It's definitely not going to summon a bunch of monsters. You delay. Hmm. Oh, maybe I didn't go to the graveyard. Well, I want to go back here first. Because the cairn stones are up over here. Oh, that map movement is weird. That is very weird. Stamina potion. Nope. Okay. It's one, two, three, four, five. Starting from the right to left. And I can use the symbols to identify... Oh wait, I bet it's... Oops. Wasting mana. So, the blood drop is going to be the bottom of my thing. Maybe I shouldn't do it by that. I should do it by... One. Two. Wait. Wait, no, but, but... Oh, those are really similar looking. Also, I don't think this is the right cairn stone. Huh. Let's find out. So, three would then either be this or this, and it's really hard to tell between the symbols. Three? Oh! Never mind, it was the right cairn stone. I can go to Tristram now. Well, obviously, I have to immediately Tristram do this. Tristram was no match for Diablo's fury. This is where I get killed by a much higher level enemy. Or not. Or the enemies are perfectly appropriate level wise. Cool. Alright, they do still kind of hurt, though. Oh, that fire was damaging me, wasn't it? There we go. Too much crowd control right now. 
Right, here's where I use Crackle. Mostly just to keep them from all running at me and then all running at me. But I need to get to the shamans in the back. Oh, I should have refilled my potions. I can't carry anymore. Large axe. Now I can just bonk my way through the regular carvers, because they aren't too much of a threat by themselves. I want that club, though. That should be money. And I need money to buy better weapons. I'm sure Kane's fine. The enemies are much more pressing. I see lots of influence. Though, to be fair, this isn't my first time playing Diablo. This is just my first time playing D2R. He's fine. He'll ask me to stay a while and listen. It has been a very long time since I played Diablo 2. To the point where I've basically forgotten everything that I did. Oh. Uh. Zappa went through a bunch of enemies here. Oh. Oh, that's why. I need money. Uh, you're dead. You're next. Wait, did I switch weapons by accident? Did my weapon just break? My weapon just broke. Good to know. I can't carry anymore. Okay. There we go. I need mana. I need mana. Ooh. Zappy zap a bit, bonk enemies in the face, and I think I've cleared out- oh, no, there's a few more enemies to clear out. Maybe I should see what's over here. I'm sure Kane's still fine. Oh, whoops. Have to deal with this. <laughs> Have a good night. I need mana. Help. There we go. See, Kane was fine. Deckard Kane, get to the rogue camp. Everything was fine, chat. I'm gonna put that there. Do all that. Grab the club. And then back to camp for me, I think. Is there a waypoint here? 
doesn't seem to be. I think the waypoint's over here, but since my weapon's broken, before I go exploring much more, I do want to fix that. Never mind. Oh, this goes back to the stony field. Okay. Now, uh... Portal. Perfect. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon to fight the Diablo. world. As you know, some yeah, time has been fun ago, so far. Diablo was slain beneath Tristram. And when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. Because he didn't kill Diablo. He kept his distance he just from the rest of Diablo. the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I'm basically new. I played so D2 a long time ago, and I basically forgot everything. Mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day, he simply left, and shortly thereafter, Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You mm. must stop him. Or so what we need to do is kill Diablo. All right, first of all, identify everything. No more spending money on identification. You have risked your life to rescue Cain. For that, we thank you. You must seek his counsel immediately. Oh, oh, don't worry, I'm way ahead of you on that. I already sought his counsel. Also, his voice acting is top notch. Hmm, barbarian only, all right. So that gets sold. Druid only, that gets sold. Bonk stick. Other bonk stick. Zappy bonk stick. Why didn't I equip that? Chance to cast level three charged bolt when struck. Ooh. All right. I'll, I'll sell my poison resist ring and put on a crimson ring of charged bolt. This is plus one maximum damp. Hmm. That only applies to my normal attacks, though, doesn't it? So, do I replace my weapon? Or do I repair it? Right now I have 6,000 gold. Oh! Okay, so this staff casts Charged Bolt rather than enhances it. Ice Blast, Inferno, Fire Bolt, Frost Nova, Telekinesis, Frost Nova. Ice Blast, Inferno, Ice Bolt. Also expensive. Um, very, very expensive. So it looks like new. I repair. Over here, right? Good. Trade, repair. Repair all equipment. Perfect.
go. I have found King. And I'm going to go back to the stony field here, because I think there's a little more for me to explore. And because I want to. I'm sure I could rush through this and go super fast. But it's more fun to explore. I'm just going to grab that and... Uh, See, if I hadn't come back, I would have missed this. Fine, I already have the way through that path. Ooh, no we don't. I'm not letting you continue to summon stuff while I'm here fighting. Always destroy enemy spawners. Something I learned playing StarCraft. And so it came to pass that the hey, Countess, pretty good. who once bathed in the rejuvenating blood of a hundred virgins, was buried alive. And her castle, in which so many cruel deeds took place, fell rapidly into ruin. Rising over the buried dungeons in that godforsaken wilderness, a solitary tower, like some monument to evil, is all that remains. The Countess's fortune was believed to be divided among the clergy, although some say that more remains unfound still buried alongside the rotting skulls that bear mute witness to the inhumanity of the human creature. So I think I'm going to be fighting the Countess. Been some... interesting... enemies so far, I'd say. Kind of a mix of stuff unique to the universe with things loosely based on real life historical figures. Because the Countess is clearly a reference to Elizabeth Bathory, who may and may not have committed a bunch of atrocities. And it's really hard to tell. Either she did and was then caught and punished for her crimes, or she didn't and then other nobility wanted all of her wealth. So they said that she did. And the church went, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Is there an entrance here? No, there's not an entrance here. All right, that... That area is off limits. Yep, I only get one first playthrough, so I am making the most of it. I can always be more optimal later. I can always get rushed later. Hmm, this looks like a maze. Do I have a stamina potion? Nope. Ooh. Waypoint, though. Waypoints are good. Oh. I wonder if I wanted to... There we go. Get a ruby. I can't tell if these areas are just big to give people a lot to explore or if there's something to it. So I'm going to keep exploring. All right. So despite not having many keys early on, there seem to be a lot more now, which is nice. Uh, I selected ladder. I think. I didn't pay really close attention to the options, but I'm pretty sure it defaulted to ladder, and that's what I selected. Hey, thank you very much for the support, and welcome. Damage sash, don't really want that. I'm probably going to be playing this character mostly solo, though, even if I do have the option to play with other people, just because it's easier to learn a game when solo. And, you know, I don't want to <laughs> hold people back because the people that I'd be playing with, 
have played this game way more than me. Which, I mean, to be fair, isn't hard. You'd have to be really new to not have played it more than me. But a lot of the people who are like, you really need to play D2R have played, oh, probably thousands of hours. And so, I might as well go back to town and sell some stuff. And then go back to the cold plains and look around there, because I think I missed some stuff in it. Good day. And thank you very much, Dread, for upgrading your support to Cruel. Even though I don't exclusively make Path of Exile content anymore. Oh, uh, whoops. I do like having the little reference with the old difficulty stuff. Even though that's not really a part of PoE anymore. That's okay. I, I think from a game design perspective, it's a very good thing that games moved away from the playthrough and then playthrough again and so on and so forth. That's something that Diablo did, which, ooh, has definitely been improved upon. Yep, that makes sense. Especially since this game is about a decade. I think a decade, oh wait, whoops, older than PoE. I keep doing shift instead of control. I'll get that eventually. But all right, I got a plus two charged bolt staff. Pretty happy with that. Back to the cold plates. More exploration. Because, yes, right over here, I remember there being stuff that I just didn't explore. Which I absolutely should have. Ooh, that does Impossible. a nice amount of damage. I can't. Wait. I can't. Oh. Roll a town portal. New skill, new stats. So, I'm level 10. I'm gonna put this in here. And now, let's go with telekinesis, right? Yes, telekinesis, then frozen armor. So, uh, number pad four. There we go. Ooh, experience strong. All right, I need stuff to kill. It's time for a murderous rampage in the name of EXP. Oh, wait, volunteer. Yes, I am following the sorceress leveling guide on max roll. I will just tank that. The fireballs do not scare me, Fallen. You come back here. You come back here, Fallen Shaman. We need to zap all the shamans first. So that they don't keep resurrecting the little guys. No, oh, immune to fire. Good thing I don't do fire damage. I can't carry anymore. I'm sure this means that I'm going to want a second damage type. Uh are you gonna come over here? Yeah. Okay. Um, toss that, toss that, grab a rejuvenation potion, grab the stamina potion, use the stamina potion, and then come up here and deal with these enemies. Perfect. Ooh, a ring. Yep, for a lot of games I'd go in blind and not follow a guide. But given how old Diablo 2 is, I really do feel like following a guide for my build is going to lead to the best experience. And then I just go in blind in terms of the story and the gameplay and the boss mechanics and all that. 
I can't carry anymore. Yeah, but where's the fun in skipping monsters? No, no, you've got to kill them all. That's why you do multiple damage types. I think I've mostly explored here now. Oh no, up here. Because I'm sure on later playthroughs, I'm not going to want to go through and clear areas like I am now. I'm sure it's not very efficient to do that. But it's fun. And I'm enjoying the exploration. Yep, that's what I'm basically doing. Electric and cold. Aha! That shaman's down. That shaman's down. This shaman's down. Thinkers, yes. More over here. Zap all the shot. That chest was disappointing. It dropped nothing. Oh, there's an enemy hiding in the tree. Hmm. I should swap this. this. Entering there's the burial. Magic door here. Okay. Bonk, bonk. I am overburdened. Time to complete my quest. My army will destroy you. Stop running away. Your army is not doing anything. I need mana. I need mana. Oop. Season 3 for D2R? If so, I believe yes. If you mean Season 3 for Torchlight Infinite, then no. I am overburdened. I probably have too many potions here. I think that's all I need to do here, but I'm going to look around a little bit just in case. If you mean the D2R ladder, I believe it started just a couple of days ago. I am overburdened. Ooh, a charm. I remember those. Kind of. And by remember those kind of, I mean I remember that having them in your inventory is good. Ooh, crypt. Undefiled grave. And now it is a looted grave. Uh, I'm going to go back to town quickly. Oh. I can Might hardly well talk to believe her. that you've defeated Bloodraven. Though she was once my closest friend, I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. Yeah, I feel like in this world. You've my respect, stranger. And the allegiance of the rogues. Y you really don't I want your spirit to be around. My best warriors at your disposal. Okay. And now I can hire. Freezing arrow seems good. Yeah. Let's just. Wait. Do I already have? Oh yeah. I already have a follower. Never mind. Yep. Oh wait, I have to talk to Kane again. Greetings. 
gotta ID all the stuff. Oh wait, right, not shift, control. I'll eventually get the difference between shift and control down. Poison resist, poison resist. I may regret that later, we'll see. stuff over here. This gives... Oh! Maximum stamina seems quite nice. I don't think the poison helps me that much. I guess damage is still damage, but not really a poison build, so... Let's see, can I... No. Oh yeah, I should probably equip her with gear as I find it. I probably should have given her the bow. It's fine, though. I'll get another one. Smashing barrels. Perfect Diablo and Dark Souls past. Slots, helmet, chest, weapon. And it looks like she doesn't need arrows, which I should probably be thankful for. Okay, that worked really well. I think because he was in the doorway. It's a fancy chest. Nice. And a bow. I'm very glad the follower has infinite arrows. Because that would be very annoying. Okay. But I failed at inventory Tetris. Inventory Tetris is so far the hardest part of the game. I'm sure I'll get the hang of it eventually. I'll put that to good use. There you go. You have a bow now. You can keep you away. It's a bad bow, but that's fine. This is a dead end. Though dead ends are better than deadly ends. I'm pretty sure I already found all the interesting stuff in here. Just in case. In case there's some cool over here. Okay, so that's the poison effect. No, you proud is an interesting thing. I can't carry anymore. Yep. I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Just gonna take a little bit of time. Alright. Now I have truly explored everything. I'm very glad I clicked I'm that. Overburdened. I think I'm probably carrying too many lower tier potions. Identify stuff with Kane. Hello. Gonna probably sell all this. Hmm. Okay, I think that's better than my current. Greetings. Ring plus one dexterity. I don't really need dex right now, so I'm gonna just sell that. Jewelry seems like a really good value to pick up. 
And I definitely want these hybrid potions and the mana potions. And this charm, what does it do? Plus one to dex. All right, that's fine. Quest log, that's done. So now back to where I was before. In the dark wood now. The other thing that's nice. Oh, she does damage now. Cool. I like how the follower actually feels impactful. I'm sure by endgame, she won't be that impactful. But it's nice that she matters now, because this is when I really need the help. It has been so long since I last played D2 that I have no idea how much is new to D2R and how much is from the original game. Oh wait, that's my follower. I shouldn't be trying to zap my follower. I was going to say, I'm sure some people in chat can answer the question, though. But for me, it's been years and years. The last time I played B2, I didn't play all that much, and it was when Project Diablo 2 came out. And before that, I honestly don't remember when I played before that, but it was probably not within this decade. run, but you can't hide. Well, I guess you can hide too, because there's trees. I'm gonna pretend that things can't hide, though. Can I gather them all up? Hide. I don't know if this is new to D2R, or if a follower AI is just really good, but so far I'm impressed with how well the follower is keeping up with me and hitting useful targets. Which I know probably sounds like a low bar, but I've played so many games with pets or minions or followers or whatever that are just completely worthless. And so I am pleasantly surprised that she actually does a good job of being useful. Lots of bunch of enemies. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure as I play more, I'll notice some annoying things with the AI. I'm just glad it isn't straight useless. Now there's no monster in there. There we go. Making some pretty decent progress. Oh, those look very different. Okay, new ring and amulet stats. Entering the Black Marsh. It's nice to see enemies slowed by an arrow, as opposed to me slowed by an arrow. I'm used to me slowed by an arrow. This is much more enjoyable.
On the one hand, I can definitely see why people like Diablo 2. On the other, I don't think it's going to be a play forever game for me. I think I'm going to have to play this more and really give D2R a shot before I can answer that question. The answer is probably not Diablo 3, though. Because even though Diablo 3 has some things that are very nice, it was so lacking depth. Oh, I should, I should put these here. And then like this and like this. Oh, right, like that. There we go. See, the reason that I think I'm going to prefer PoE, even after playing D2R, is exactly the variance. There's always something new and exciting to do in PoE, and the game changes a lot from league to league. And I've never had a league ruin my PoE experience. I've definitely never had it ruin my league start. Because I've always gone into League Start with the expectation of the game changing a lot and picking something that will fit with those changes rather than trying to fight against them. I always just kind of think of every new Pure League Start as this is a completely new Path of Exile game. It tends to work pretty well. I wouldn't go quite so far as to say that D3 is garbage. I think D3 is better than a lot of games on the market. But I don't think it does a good job of living up to Diablo 2's legacy. And I think it's done a terrible job of being a live service ARPG. Right. And that's why I'm not really comparing a game from the 90s to Kyo. That the thing that PoE offers, which is really unique in the ARPG experience, is how much it changes. down there, I'm going to go explore the cave. I think in terms of builds in PoE ending poorly, I haven't had a build that really failed in years. I've had some builds that just weren't good, but they weren't good broadly rather than specifically. Like the Hex Blast Trapper that I messed with at the very end of Sanctum, broadly speaking, bad build. If your goal is to permafreeze everything in the Sanctum and not have to engage with the Sanctum mechanics, Really good build. It was made for one thing, and it did that thing extremely well. Um, my prediction is that anyone who's going into those two games expecting it to be a matchup will find themselves surprised when D4 doesn't try to compete with PoE2 at all. I do not expect Blizzard to set D4 up to compete with PoE2. I expect they're going to set it up to compete with Lost Ark. Um, wait, no. uh, frozen Ark. Last Epoch has a really tough road ahead of them. I hope it goes well. I think Last Epoch has a lot of really cool ideas. It draws from a 
strong foundation, clearly built on enjoying games like Diablo and Path of Exile, but then taking things in a different direction. However, it is not easy to be a small indie company making an ARPG in 2023. Yes. That is both the biggest challenge and also greatest strength of PoE. And while I do think there's some areas where the new player experience in PoE can be improved, I don't think it should change the core of what it is, which is it's a game for hardcore gamers. It means it will never have mass market appeal, but it's found success without needing mass market appeal. And if you want a game made for mass market appeal, just play Diablo 4. A lot of people aren't going to like Diablo 4 precisely because of a mass market appeal aspect. They're going to find that that by design means depth has to be cut out. And when you cut depth out but keep the grind, it starts to feel like a trivial task, like a chore, rather than something meaningful and rewarding. And to be clear, I'm not blaming Blizzard for that. I think they made the correct choice in that regard. But it's also going to very likely limit the amount of time that I play D4 for that I'm going to feel like I've run out of interesting and new things to do. Whereas Path of Exile, every three months, I come back and it feels interesting and new. Hmm. Let's go back to town here. Yeah, and I'm sure after a thousand hours, that's how D4 will feel as well. Now, that said, do I think it's worth buying D4 for the thousand hours of enjoyment that I expect a lot of people will get from it over its lifetime? Yeah. I think the Paragon system gives the illusion of complexity. But I don't think it's nearly as deep as it looks. Oh, I didn't check the amulet. Now, I think that's where Diablo 4 is going to really stumble. I'll put that to a lot of its systems look complex, but then you realize that a lot of the choices they offer aren't really that meaningful. And to be fair, Path of Exile's skill tree is largely the same. Where Path of Exile's skill tree looks super complicated and deep. Except, if you play PoE, you realize it's really not. Most of the time, you're just beelining to the things that help your build. And at this point, it honestly kind of feels like Blizzard is known for the illusion of choice. Hey, thank you very much. Have a good night. Glad you're enjoying the D2R content. I'll put that to good use. I'm gonna just give her that. Ooh. That is definitely better. There you I'll put go. that to good use. This is probably better too. But I can identify that stuff when I get back to town. Is there an easy way out of here? Probably not. Now, 
To take the analogy on PoE a little bit farther, though, despite the skill tree being relatively simple, once you add cluster jewels in, and once you add, I'm just gonna call them allocation jewels, all of a sudden, there's a lot of deeper systems that you can engage with, which don't necessarily take away from your ability to just use the skill tree at a basic surface level if you're newer to the game. It looks like a lot, but it's honestly very simple. Until it's not. And that's something that Pewee does all the time. It's something that Pewee does very well. And I think that's really what Diablo 3 and I suspect Diablo 4 is also going to be missing. Now, full disclosure, I haven't played D4. I'm going to, when the open betas come around. But until then, this is all just speculation. Just from everything I've seen, because I've seen, for example, Force Gaming's videos on D4. I've, I've seen the videos on the leaks. And I don't think it's going to be ultimately that deep. And I'm not saying it has to be to be successful, but it definitely would have to be to compete with Path of Exile. And so that's why I think D4 is going to compete with Lost Ark instead. Because that's a fight that Blizzard can win. They can be the less pay-to-win Lost Ark. Yep, the tower's exactly the next place I plan to go. Ooh, spooky ghosts. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Oh. I prepared poorly here. Not enough mana. I don't really need too many more minor healing potions, but mana potions are very good. I should probably make more of an effort to keep Frost Armor up, because that's a fairly nice defensive bonus. It's certainly interesting to see the graphical renditions of these things and how both similar they are to what D3 did, but also how different they are from what D3 did. Gloompox. Wonderful name. Absolutely lovely. Potion. I am overburdened. No, oh, I'm very heavily overburdened. Go back to town quickly. Greetings. Sell a bunch of stuff. Put this on my follower because I'm sure that's better. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I will catch you later. I'll put that to good use. And then sell all this. The order welcomes you. Keep these in my inventory. I think I don't need all of these. 
I have plenty of keys. Okay. Ooh, cellar level three. Ooh. Merc's kind of getting wrecked. Though better her than me. Okay, new stats. Strength. And at level 12, I believe, is when I can get Nova, right? Yes. New skill. Nova. Creates an expanding ring of lightning to shock nearby enemies. Okay. I'm gonna put that on number pad three. So I think, oh, wait, one to 24. Oh, that's a lot more damage than most of my other skills. I think only charge bolt can, can compete with that. Oh, that's a nice amount of AoE. There we go. Now I'm feeling like a real ARPG build. Hmm. My mana does not like my choices. I may like my choices, but my mana does not. Probably bonk certain things rather than just noving them. Yeah, that deletes my entire mana bar, but it's very fun, so I'm going to keep doing it. It just means that I need more mana potions. That does a lot of damage. Oh. Looks like there's a ritual here. So probably went a little bit too hard in terms of spamming my lightning stuff. It's okay though, I think. I don't think I really eh, I don't think I need the potions anyway. Raw <laughs> and tall. I forget the exact details, but as I remember, getting those are quite good. And fight down. I hope to find other such treasures. I already got two rune words, specifically Rawl and Tal. Oh right, they give a ton of resistances and the weapon. Wow, that's a lot of damage on the weapons. 
Alright. That's it. Time to go back to town. Good day. Yeah, I don't remember exactly which ones are the best, but I do remember that getting two on a first boss kill is really, really good. good day. I'm sure the guide will tell me what I should do with them. Oh wait, no, not shift. Right, control, not shift. Control, not shift. Yeah, I like this one better. Let's find out. Oh, optional, Rall and Tear, mandatory, Tal and F to make stealth. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to keep farming until I get an Eth rune. Yep. Stealth is what I'm aiming for. Well, oh, that's actually quite good. Well, so I'm going to put this in here. I don't really need to carry it around. I'm going to put these in here. Now I'm going to go back. Grab that, grab that, grab mana potions, because I need all the mana potions. I should get more than 100 from this. Need to talk to Deckard Kane first. Identify it. All that. Yes. Great. Sell this. I have a lot of gold now. Attack speed. Yeah, that's better. Is there anything else here that's worth it now? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I should probably be doing that for later. So first of all, I repair all my stuff. Second of all, armor. Oh. Two socket body armor. I'm assuming any type of armor is fine. So I can always just buy this one. But first. Is there any other interesting things? Lightning resist, enhanced defense, belt of strength. Ooh. That's cheap. Yes. Yes, buy the belt of strength. There we go. And this costs little enough that I'm not too worried about it. Even if it's not what I need, I will just get a better one later. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think this will be fine for now, though. And then the question is, can I go here? Because I'm... Oh, whoops. There has to be a way to reset zones for farming. I'm going to guess it either means logging out and back in, or it means hitting like some combination of shift, alt, and control on a waypoint. Yep, so it is. So that would be what? Game creation? No. Uh, this is the part that I don't know how to do. Oh, just hit play. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Now I just go back through this zone. And down into the tower. And into the tower cellar where I get to spam mana potions. Fight Chaos Drool the Slayer. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so the item label display toggle is still here. I just have to toggle it back on every time. Got it. Does changing the number do anything that actually matters? Or is it just cosmetic? Like, should I be changing the number? Or should I just be ignoring that? That was actually not a good idea. Should not have done that. Oh, that's that's my fault. Oh, okay. So, nothing that matters for right now. Huh? Actually, let's do this and this and just keep going. Sink a little bit. I can't carry anymore. 
I am overburdened. I can't carry anymore. Uh, my companion's fine. I'm sure she'll be okay without my gear. Why she has a life steal? Hmm, this is not a trap at all. Oh, it actually wasn't. Surprisingly. I'm gonna grab the other leather armor just in case. I don't think it's better, but. Minor mana potion, light mana potion. Ooh, definitely a ring. Rings are nice. Scroll of identify. Ah, it's over here. So basically, as long as I don't let her die, it's fine. Or, as long as I don't let her die too much, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I probably will do that. Uh... Well, you're fighting a ghost and winning, so that's fine. I'm just gonna put that on six for now. Those are all minor healing. That javelin's gonna be worth more than the spear, so I'll pick it up. I think that was one of the things that I needed, but that's okay. Uh, gonna do a little bit of inventory Tetris. These up. Time to get out of here, because I also leveled up. 26 strength. Another level in Nova. Then over here to Deckard Cane. Identify items. Hello. Trade. Those gloves are not really better. Hmm. I guess it is defenses. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, Alright, control. That, 900. It's pretty good. Five life. Oh, it's, it's just way better than my current one, because my current one's not that bad. And this is mana after each kill. Nah, I think this is okay. So I've got... Rawl times three, Tal times one, L times one. I'm gonna pick this up to just put all these in. Oh, the keys stack. Okay. So I definitely don't need more than one 
stack of keys. Hey, how's it going? I am playing some D2R. Right now, farming the Countess to try to get an Eth rune. Which, so far, I'd say is going pretty well. Oh, might as well open the chest. Oh, large charm. That could easily be worth it. Go town portal. down into the not very forgotten tower anymore. Yeah. I figured I could kind of just let my follower kill them. Oh, wait, there's a shrine there. This is superior... Superior trash. Oh, this was a shrine. I already clicked it. Very well. I mean, it seems to just be go left, right? It always seems to be towards the top left of the zone. Not really having trouble finding it. mana because... Oh, I didn't pick up any mana potions. It's actually bad. Not enough mana. Well, I will let you know if I encounter any issues in finding it, but so long as it's easy to find, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I'll click that. Those are healing, not mana. No, I specifically requested that people not help unless I ask, so Mark is not trolling. Blast all those things. Oop. How about how about you no know, get zapped? No. There we go. Uh, that's my follower who's kinda stuck. Health here. Oh, 
I do not really have a favorite staple skill. I guess my favorite is the strong ones. Whatever happens to be strong in the game at a given time. That's generally what I will gravitate towards over other things. Honestly, just bought a couple of mana potions. Oh, that's what I wanted. I've not played Diablo 1. I have played a lot of Diablo 3. Uh, Ethrune was what I needed. Yes. Cool. So. Time to get out of here, go back to the encampment, and then continue with my questing. I'm sure that I will know what to do with that when the time comes. And by that I mean the guide will definitely tell me. Good day. Oh, plus two decks. And some cold res. Get rid of that with this. Hmm. That is quite high cell value on the chip skull. Neff will go here. Al will go with its friend. Chip skull will go over there. I should probably gem some of these at some point. That's a later me problem. Now I am, I think, ready to move on to the next part of a guide. Act one normal up to level 13, then act two to five normal plus cows up to level 26. Back to Black Marsh. Since I think I can just keep exploring here. My follower is really good at picking off stragglers. Yeah, the problem with D3 is. Well, it comes back to what I said before about Blizzard and offering the illusion of choice. It's something that Blizzard has done for a very long time. It was a big complaint I had with their design for World of Warcraft as well. Where instead of offering players actual meaningful choices, they're like, well, you could choose one of these, but it really doesn't matter between them. They're basically both the same thing. Just slightly different flavors of the same thing. And very often, one of those choices is blatantly better than the other. Not enough mana. Unfortunately, I don't really have high hopes for Diablo 4 being any better. Which is why I think Diablo 4 is going to have a shelf life entirely dependent on Blizzard's ability to add new content to it. And if they can keep adding content frequently, it will probably have a pretty good shelf life. If they can't or they don't, it's not going to last very long at all. Aha, new area. Get zapped. Oh, 
I have not played D4. I'll be playing it when the open beta comes out. beaten path here. I kind of want the waypoint. The waypoints are usually pretty near the path. But for now I think I'm going to just follow the path and bonk stuff. Stamina potion. Use the stamina potion. Yep, which is why I say it's going to live or die based on their ability to continue to create content for it. And I also think ultimately what's going to happen is they're not going to be able to due to how they're mismanaging their employees currently. Which is going to be really unfortunate, because something very similar happened with Diablo 3, where Blizzard should have made way more content for D3 than they did. But they just didn't, and it killed all momentum the game had. One can only hope that before it's too late for D4, Microsoft will buy them and Microsoft will actually put the resources where they need to go. Which, depending on the project, Microsoft has had a mixed track record of that themselves, so I'm not 100% confident, but I'm more confident in Microsoft than I am in Activision Blizzard. Or specifically more confident in Microsoft than the Activision part of that, because who has confidence in Blizzard at all? Stats, 14, all into Vitality, and 14 to 17 into Nova. Oh, perfect. Level up the Zaps. Oh, that damage is noticeable. It literally so is the mana cost. I took out all of the shaman there. Oh, no, there's one more. There we go. Perfect. Low quality loot. Why are you locking the low quality loot in the chest instead of high quality?
Yeah, I definitely haven't been picking up as many potions as I should. Ah, sure. The monastery on Dariel's stronghold. Let's uh, bonk him. Bonk that. Gold drops seem to be getting more frequent for sure. Zap, zap. Oh, interesting. The zaps don't kill the barrels. It does, at some point, tell me to make stealth. Well, the gold didn't make itself obvious on the Countess runs. So, I don't know that that many people are using Soul Finale. I also don't know if Soul Finale has the bug, which is affecting a lot of those things, where it counts based on one different engram slot, since instead of doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it does 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Which is something that talked about in a fairly recent Crow's Corner. I would imagine that you'd have to compare it to the two engram soul finales. Oh, it has three. Yes, that does matter. I would price that just based off of three engram soul finales and see how much that's worth. I don't know off the top of my head. I would imagine that it's worth something. But I don't know exactly how much. Because there's just a lot of better things to use than Soul Finale. Ah. Potions and a bow. All right, well, I can do this, and I can do this, and I can do this, and three to 12. I'm pretty sure that's, oh wait, right, it's O, not S. I'll put that to good use. Three to eight. Ooh, mm, I think the life steal's better on her. Faster hit recovery. I'll put that to good use. Sure, congratulations. Very nice. Yes, that item is insane and is probably gonna get nerfed. 20 FE, wow. Was it the same corrosion that I had? Because I paid something like three, 400 for my corrosion. Or do you just mean a corroded pear that was quote unquote bricked? Yeah, Detour has been fun so far. I think the game should still be on sale. I bought it the other day and it said it was on sale for Valentine's Day, even though it's well past Valentine's Day. Um, I don't know when the sale ends. Hmm. 
If there I was wonder, magic here, what is the jail known for? Now. Yes, huge upgrade for sure. hurt. Mistakes were made. Didn't die, though. I kind of suspect that I'm going to die soon, because I've been getting a little too cavalier. Okay, till the 27. Not enough mana. Let's uh, kite away from this thing for a second while I fix my potion slots. Oh, that's why there's so much lightning. Because it wasn't me doing it. It was the enemy doing it. Hmm. Oh, definitely doesn't heal her. I'm not sure what does. I will worry about that later. I don't think she's going to die, and she has life steal. Well, sometimes not perfect is totally fine. Well, more ghosts. No, don't drain my mana. Oh, it's shift. Have to try that next time. So hopefully she just doesn't take more damage. That would be the idea. Potion, yes. Need more mana potions. All the mana potions. And spend almost an infinite amount of mana. One thing I've noticed that's pleasantly surprising to me here. These zones are pretty big. I was expecting them to be smaller given the game's age. So they've either expanded them for D2R, or they really put a lot of work in back in the day to get the loading of these zones efficient enough that you could actually experience an exploration. Okay, neat. I think I'm supposed to be over here. Not a hundred percent sure. But I think this was what I was supposed to find here. So now I'm gonna go back to the other side. See what there is to find over there. Yeah, it would have taken a lot longer back in the day 
to explore a zone of the same size. Because I have a 1440p monitor and... Oh, goodness. It would have been... HD wasn't really a thing yet. So 360p? Which means they had to do significant reworks to get the game to function on a new monitor. Hmm. Okay, corroded with no changes. That makes sense. Cool. The thing is, if I change the resolution now, it's going to look awful. In fact, most of the text won't even be readable. Not unless they've edited the quote unquote original, in which case it's not really the original graphics. It's a slightly different upscaled version, but yeah. Given the age of a game, I've tried to play some older games that don't have remakes, and you can't even play them. Not enough mana. Because the text gets so blurry on a modern screen that it's actually unreadable. Or it just renders in a super tiny mini window. Yeah, back to town. Oh. Refund. Greetings. Greetings. Ooh. That's pretty good. Pack rating. I think that's better. Plus four to energy versus plus one to maximum damage. Yeah, that's probably better. Replenish life plus three. Ooh, even better. Poison resist adds cold damage and defense. Eh, I don't think I really need that one. Oh wait, I should sell the dagger too. And this is faster casting rate mana. Ooh. Never mind. I'm going to grab that. That's so much better. No, I'm not going to try that because I tried it off stream and it immediately crashed my game. So, no, I'm not going to be swapping that. of gold and loot and all that.
Oh, no, go away. Bad ghost. I do not want you to drain my mana. I should just uh, brute force through that, and then heal up. There are quite a lot of doors in here. I suspect I'm coming up on a boss fight. Mostly because I vaguely remember fighting a boss in this place. Not enough mana. I don't think it's on this floor. I think it's on a slightly deeper floor. is too valuable to give to you. Oh, I was supposed to go up over here. Ooh, more ghosts. Explored over here. But there's areas I have not explored. going snow. Inner cloister. Yeah, this is looking quite familiar. Oh, I'm out of stamina again. Probably should have stocked up on those. Here is the Grand Cookie. Cool. Yeah, there is good. Not enough I do not have dinner at the moment, but I probably will soon. So those were a bit tankier than I was expecting. Oh, well. You can help that way a little bit. I'm poisoned and slowly dying. Dying is bad. 
Let's uh let's get that. like it should be clickable, but it's not. Uh, oh, whoops. Now into the catacombs. This place chills me to the bone. While I appreciate the offer, I don't think I'll really be doing any playing the viewer stuff. It's not really something I find enjoyable. I may do multiplayer at some point, but if I do multiplayer, it's going to be probably the people who've been bugging me to play the game for so long. Oh, oh my god. I'm definitely gonna die here. I made bad decisions and didn't double check stuff. Oh, wait, am I alive? I'm alive, somehow. That was uh, bad on my part. Oh. It's okay, though. Somehow I wasn't punished for it. I need mana. By messing up pretty much as much as you possibly could there. Oh. Awesome. I think my follower died. That thing did way too much. There we go. Now it's dead. I can't carry anymore. I have to fix my mistakes from being... I did say a little bit ago that I was going to be too careless. Okay, there's nothing else to loot here. Remarkable experiences reside beyond the ordinary. Avalon heard the siren song to elevate cruising. Wait, they have. Oh my god. Go away. Smaller ship. Uh, I hate it when ads do that. Because I was looking at the guide in the load screen, and ads are like, oh hey! You, you, you wanna be completely taken out of what you're doing right now? Alright, so first of all, yes. resurrect. 1080. Okay, sure. Oh, I was about to level up too. Yes. Identify items. New bow with a lot of damage. Okay, I'm gonna put that bow on her. I think it's better than her life steal bow. And this is definitely better than my current chess piece. Plus five to life is probably better than what she has. Plus two to dex doesn't help her, so I'm just gonna sell the rest of the stuff. Good day. Ice bolt, charged bolt. Hmm. As much as that's nice, it's not quite nice enough. Question. I am almost level 50. Grab a couple extra potions there.
Yes, but I'm not level 17, so that doesn't really help me. Go. And I think it's just Nova. Yes, Nova until 17. 22 to 52 now. It's quite the damage range. Got all of those. Not in the mana. Healing potion, mana potion, mana potion. Brognax. Gotta love being able to just blast everything on the other side of the door. Except the entire point is for me to not keep that stuff in mind. Because if I wanted to have to remember all that, I wouldn't be following a guide. So I'm just ignoring it because the guide hasn't brought it up. And when I level up, I glance over at the guide. I don't have to remember shit. Not enough mana. No, oh, spiders. It's always spiders. Not enough mana. But that's the advantage of following a guide, so you don't have to think for yourself. I feel like that green one... Yeah, it's a special one. Really shouldn't have gotten close to it, though. But it's fine. Um, there's some annoying webby stuff on the ground. That's gonna stick to everything. Also, that said, uh, even when calling guides, unless it's a really low level, you probably should use your judgment, because most often you don't perfectly get everything the guide talks about immediately. But at this level, I'm, I'm sure I have everything the guide talks about, and I don't really need to think. But also, I'm not struggling. The game hasn't been hard so far, which means I'm going to pay less attention until I start dying, and then I'll pay more attention. good loot here. Nope, no epic loot. Unfortunate. Uh, 
Oh, right. It's shift and not control. See, the problem is, a lot of that stuff is the opposite of PoE. Yeah, and if this was a new game, like for D4, I'm not going to use a guide on my first playthrough because I'll learn more from making my own mistakes. But for something like this, where the game has been out for so long, I definitely feel like it's better to, I guess, save myself from a lot of the common mistakes and go from there. Wait, I... Speaking of mistakes that I need to save myself from, forgetting to talk to Kane. That's one that'll probably keep happening for a bit. So this is not something I need. That's not something I can use. That's not something I can use. That's not something I need. This is life and mana. Mm, I like the cast rate stuff. Also, that absurd 40,000 mana for some of the items seems perfectly reasonable now. Shrine. The zones definitely follow a very different logic from Path of Exile zones. Which is one of those subtle little things that take getting used to. So that was over there. So then the way forward is over here. Catacombs level three. But no stealing my life. That's my life, not your life. You can go get your own life from other people that aren't me. Was that? Okay, that was just a zombie. I'm not gonna go back for it. Hey, no worries. I think you're doing better than I could while typing on a treadmill. Ooh, an Ithra. That's a nice find. first comment is why don't you have a direct loot advantage for trade let's see if I was right oh
Oh, wow, that's an impressive level of stupidity. Not only thinking an auction house is a good idea for PoE, but also thinking... Thinking there's microtransactions for an auction house currency, which... Wait. I'm, I'm not crazy, right? EHG never said anything about that. They said that you spend faction reputation and gold, which you get from playing the game. I don't remember anything about a microtransaction to use the bazaar. Or did I just miss that? No. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, so that guy's just completely delusional. I mean, unsurprising from anyone who thinks that POE should have an auction house. That would be like saying that Elden Ring should have a Ubisoft HUD. Like, no, the game is specifically designed in the opposite way of that. I can't carry anymore. That is the last thing it needs. And it's the last thing it should ever have. Yeah, I don't think that's even copium at that point. I don't know what that is. I do not like the banished. Go away, banished. Oh, this is a dead end. Got it, got it. I haven't talked about it in a video yet because I didn't have time to make a video before my stream. I will be making a video that should go up on the channel within a couple of days. But overall, I think their solution is interesting. I don't think it's perfect. There's definitely some flaws that I immediately see, which will have to be addressed in one way or another. A good example of this is you're playing with a friend and you are a trade player and your friend is not. And your friend wants to gift you something. But then... They can't, since they have the drop bonuses. I think that's something they're going to have to solve, ultimately, for their game to feel good multiplayer-wise. Even if it's, say, you're limited in what you can gift, but you can remove the requirement from gifting for people with the resonance. Uh, the other problem that I see that is probably going to come up is... If you can't resell items that you purchase from trade, then that's going to mean a lot of people will inevitably feel screwed over. Where they buy all the gear to buy an awesome build, and the build doesn't perform the way that they think it would, or they do something wrong. So my understanding is it doesn't remove the level requirement. Wait, are you sure, Dread? I thought in the FAQ, they said that if you are the non-trade faction, because you have the drop bonus and your item has the non-trade level requirement thing, that your friend who is a trade player can't equip it even if you can gift it to them. Which functionally means you can't trade it to them because they can't use it either way. I 
can't carry anymore. Um, risk reward in what way? Like your faction choice or trying a build? make good decisions here. Oh, that's a lot of poison that I just ate. Yeah, the issue with that is that's not the sort of risk that you should have players take. The problem with that is it's going to foment extreme toxicity in the community. Because if you copy someone else's build and it doesn't work, whose fault is it? Spoiler alert, the answer is yours. That, yes, in general, people should do their best to present players with viable options. But if someone presents a non-viable option and you copy it, ultimately it should be on you because you are still the one copying it. So that's not how players will react. Players will immediately blame whoever made the build which leads to a massive amount of toxicity in the community. Oh. Whirlwind is viable on Erica, probably, but a terrible idea on Erica because it can't take advantage of any of her hero traits. So while, yes, you could do it, you are better off with basically anybody else. I did not prepare well for this fight. I may have to portal out. Oh, that's bad. Alright. Ha ha! Demon cheesed. Good day. And also, to go back, so the problem, Snow, is you can't sell it afterwards. The loss is everything you invested. And that's why I say it's going to lead to a lot of toxicity, especially towards content creators who create builds, which is not something that a design should be doing. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to fight giant demons and also follow Chad. 
My bad if I missed anything. Oh, I got it. Hmm. I don't think I should stand in that fire. The evil queen has fallen. Yeah, so? And Dariel is dead? Good day. And Dariel's death brings about renewed life for us all. We mourn the loss of our dear sisters, but at least now we can get on with our lives. I may have misjudged you, Outlander. You are a true hero and testament to the noble Not spirit when. which has inspired our order for generations. Oh, better than it probably should have, given that I didn't really Hello. prepare at all properly, and given that my follower died and uh, many other bad things happened. Uh, that said, this is the end of chapter okay. one in D2R, and I think we're going to call the stream since I've been going for almost four hours. But thank you to everyone who tuned in. I certainly hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be releasing a video with my full detailed thoughts on Last Epoch Trade, which will be out in the near future. I don't want to necessarily promise tomorrow morning because it might not be, but definitely by Thursday morning at the latest. That said, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. And if you want to know my full thoughts on D2R, don't worry, that'll come in the future as well. I just need to play the game quite a bit more. So, if you're interested in any of that, be sure to get subscribed. Maybe leave a like while you're down there. And of course, if you have any questions, oh, there's always hopping into Discord.